When you look at how near Takatoriki's restaurant lies to the Otake stable he once owned, now resided in by his three younger sons, you wonder, A, how many regrets he has, and B, whether it's practical for them never to meet, as sumo chiefs have doubtless demanded. He's the persona non grata right on sumo's doorstep, and now he's on YouTube stirring things up. So why is he on YouTube? He gives three reasons. Firstly, he wants a platform to advocate a sumo reform plan, ensuring that the best wrestlers get higher rewards and that the worst excesses are stripped away. Secondly, he wants to use YouTube earnings to build a sumo dojo for kids and perhaps get the likes of Kotomitsuki and Takanohana involved. Thirdly, he readily confesses, even 10 years after his dismissal for gambling, he's still bitter, and wants to call out Sumo's top brass for their hypocrisy at that time. Before I go on, let me stress his main message to you is still support your wrestlers. There are so many guys out there slogging their guts out to reach the top, he tells us, so please get behind them. The fact he criticizes Sumo, he adds, in no way means he loves it any less. And the fact that I report his criticisms certainly doesn't mean that I love it any less. So, what has Takatoriki said? Certainly, things that will make him even more enemies than he already has, and he scarce seems concerned. His biggest claim has been that match fixing, although rare, still exists. He insists Shodai and Tokushoryu won their titles fairly this year, and praises them for it. He is adamant the number of legitimate bouts is at least double what it was in his day. But if you think fixed matches have totally gone away, he said, you're kidding yourself. When I listened to Chairman Hanare Goma nine years ago claim, we've caught all the match fixers, they're all seeking to avoid demotion to Division 3, no one else has ever done it, above or below, before or since, I pissed myself and thought, are you just playing dumb? That's insane! he says, laughingly. Where he really goes to town is on the assertion that he and Kotomitsuki were fired for political reasons. Yes, it was right we were kicked out for gambling, he concedes, after explaining the very scary syndicate the wrestlers and shady outsiders had set up. And if they'd fired all the coaches and wrestlers involved, I'd have said, that's fair, no problem. But only Mitsuki and I got the bullet? Why do you think that is? Ah, because he, having elder stock at the time, voted with me for Takanohana. He refers, of course, to the infamous board elections in February 2010, which saw Takanohana grab a seat for his new breakaway group after Takatoriki smashed old voting alliances. He accuses a vengeful coach Oguruma, himself located just a few dozen meters from the restaurant, of making a fake promise to help him after his gambling story was allegedly sold to the media by the police. And he claims that Takanohana's public dressing down of Oguruma for breaking that promise lit the fuse for the feud that resulted in a suspiciously long list of punishments for the Takanohana group in subsequent years. Elsewhere, Takatoriki claims his Russian pupil Roho and his brother Hakurozan were set up by sumo chiefs and the police to take the fall for at least 20 pot smokers in the sumo ranks. It's all very entertaining. And he's equally entertaining when you meet him at his restaurant, which lets you grill quite large amounts of meat for a reasonable price. So, how's Takatoriki's channel doing? Well, in just six weeks, he's amassed 50,000 subscribers and had 11 videos top 100,000 views, one of them nearly half a million. But, as ever, nobody currently in Sumo will publicly back him, nobody in mainstream media will report his words. As the self-confessed child of a gangster, he strongly believes that sons should not be judged by what their fathers do. But with his third son Naya controversially denied salaried promotion just last month, he knows many in sumo circles think differently, and backs his boys to handle the flack 
which will inevitably fly their way. Takatoriki closes many videos with black jokes about a bleak future for him. One wonders just how long his channel can actually last. <laughs>